Hey guys, I'm going to be going over how to use the field arrays component from Redux form and entwine it and get it to work with the material UI table. Now before we begin with this, a quick little announcement. I'm going to be starting blogging on Medium where I'm going to be taking some of my videos and then writing them up. So this is going to be the first of that. So if you want to check out the link in the description below, I'll have to the Medium post which walks you through um, this exact video as well. All right, so let's get started. So right here I have a create react app location and I have it set up with uh, a few things. If we check out package.json, I have Redux form, Redux, React Re Redux, and Material UI. Now important to note, I'm using the latest version of Material UI and you can see they have a new um, look and feel to their components and uh, a new version just came out um, 1.0 so make sure when you're installing this to uh, get that one and I just set up Redux form and Redux um, I have a store and then I did the provider but uh, if you're unsure how to set up Redux form and uh, Redux uh, the medium post will explain that okay so first thing I want to do is to just take the field array example that they have, simplify it and to get it to work with the material UI. So that's this thing right here. So I'm just going to copy this giant um, thing and then I'm just going to explain what's how it's working and then cut some of it down. So I'm going to create a new file called myform.js and we're just going to paste it in. So first thing, I don't need to validate or I'm not going to worry about validating for this. And I'm gonna call this my form, and I'm gonna just call the component my form. Now I want to get rid of one of these fields uh, to just to simplify it. All I really want to render is a field array. Now you'll notice uh, we could just move the destructuring up here. This is kind of how I prefer to have it, so move it there. So we're destructuring the props. All these are coming from um, Redux form. And uh, this is for submitting. This is for knowing if people have touched the form. Um, and then this will let us reset the form, which we are calling when we click on this clear values button. And then submitting is just telling us whether we're currently submitting or not. So we are now rendering this field array, which you'll notice we're passing a component um, render members. So this is up here. Um, and this is basically how the field array works. Now right off the bat, they're um, doing another field array inside of this field array. I'm gonna get rid of that to simplify. So we'll get rid of that, and uh, that's rendering this guy up here. So I don't need render hobbies. All right, so let's look at render members. So you'll notice we have the fields, and uh, other than that, we just pretty much map over the fields and we display them. And you'll notice how um, with the fields we'll have, I'm just gonna keep the default of a first name and a last name, but basically we're gonna have an index um, and you just prefix it with this uh, member, right? So the name needs to be different per field in your field array, uh, which is very important. So you don't have duplicates or whatnot. But take a look at this code, it's pretty self-explanatory. The other interesting bit is they're using this component right here called uh, render field, which is where they're rendering the input field up here. And uh, you could replace this with uh, material UI inputs and material UI buttons if you wanted to. Um, and that would work out really well. But I'm not gonna worry about that because uh, it takes a little bit to rework that. So here is um, my application, I have not actually rendered my form. Let's do that. And we can see what this looks like. And I forgot to export it. No, I didn't. I got my form is not defined. Oh, I, did, I didn't import it. And we need to get rid of just validate at the top of the my form because we're not going to be using that. Okay, so now we have these buttons right here. So add member just like adds um, a dude in the array.
array, and we'll notice uh, what that's doing. So fields.push and just an empty object. So fields is just an array of the fields, and so by default it should be empty. So that's what that's doing. Um, and then where you can remove a field. Basically fields is what's giving us access to all the things we want to do. Um, and this again is coming from uh, the field array, field array component um, that Redux form is giving us. Okay, so we could type stuff here, and you'll notice we have this little block right there. Um, that's this guy right here, uh, removing a member. I'm just going to move the title so we can actually see it. So now when I add a member, I also have a remove member. And so if you set this up right, you should be able to type and you see this stuff is there and you can remove a single member. Here's me killing member two and it moves up or I could clear all the values. So that's pretty much all that's going on with um, the Redux form part of things, at least with the array field. Now, if you wanted to, you could add more fields. So right now we have a first name and a last name. You would, if you want to add another field, you'd copy this um, and you'd put a different last name or a different name here. And then the, well, not the type. You might have something different besides text, I suppose. And you might render a different field. And then you can have your label or whatnot. Any kind of fields you want to render, right? If you're familiar with Redux form, um, look at the field component. So next what I want to do is take this, so whatever I'm typing here, I would like to have this reflect and uh, render a material UI table. So what I'm going to do is copy the example from uh, this material UI one and then uh, change it to get it to work for ours. So my table.js or you know what, yeah that's fine. We could also call it simple table. Either one works. So first off, I'm not gonna worry about prop types or any kind of styles. So we're just gonna import, or not import, export the simple table. Then if we scroll up to the top, we can just kill both of these imports. And we can kill styles and the create data, all this stuff. And we can keep just the function here. And again, I'm gonna remo remove the destructuring to up here. And we don't need to uh, have curly braces, we can just return there. So for us, we're gonna have two table cells. So this is basically the name at the top. So we're gonna have a first name and a last name. And we can get rid of numeric. We can also get rid of the class names. And then here, uh, it's mapping through data. So where are we gonna get our data, right? Well, Redux form stores all of its data in Redux. So we can use the connect component. Um, and what this will do is allow us to grab state from Redux. And if we look at the selectors for Redux form, it looks like this. So we can use the get form values, specifying our form, and it'll return the array of values back to us. So let's look at that. So I'm first going to import connect from React Redux. This allows us to get to the Redux store and I'm gonna import that function. So there's a whole bunch of functions we can do. We only care about the form values. You could get other things as well though if you wanted to. And that's from Redux form. So now I'm going to connect. And then here's where I map the state to the props. So we're gonna say values, and we're gonna say get form values, and we're passing the state. And we also put in the, the name, right? So what is the name of our form? We go back to my form over here, scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice we have this Redux form thing, and we pass one of the properties form, this name should match. So I called it my form, so I'm gonna say my form here. So now we're actually going to be able to get the values from here. And the values that we care about is our field array. And 
we can look at what the name of it is. So it's called members. So I can do values dot members dot map. And when I'm mapping over this, the key I'm going to set as um, the first name. So we could call this M. So member dot first name dash member dot last name. So this is a key for when we're iterating through these. And I just need to close that. There we go. And we don't need curly braces for this either, so we could get rid of those if we wanted to. And I'm going to just get rid of most of these fields, and I'm going to say member.firstName, and we don't need this numeric field, and then member.lastName. Okay, so if we ran this right now, we would actually get an error. And we can see that if we come over here, and we just want to come over to app, and we'll render my table. Um, and we'll give this a second to restart, and we'll watch it crash. And the reason why it crashes is, by default, um, the, the form is empty, so there are no values. So what we have to do is we can come over to our table and just set a default value for our values. So by default, we should have a key inside of here called members, and it's just going to be an empty array. And now we can see here's our empty table. So if I were to add a member, we now have a single row in our column, and now I can start typing. So first name, one, and I can do with the last name, hey, or whatever I want. And I can add as many guys as I want, right? And I can start typing here, or I can start typing here. Um, and I can remove fields if I want to. Um, I can remove a member. And I guess they add some spacing between them. Uh, this is kind of interesting. It uh, looks like we have an extra space uh, here. So if I remove member one, and I say, Oh, I guess that's just space at the top. I'm not sure why we have an extra space um, just at the top right here. Is that always there? So one, two. It looks like for whatever reason we're holding like an extra value for our rows. So we can investigate what's going on with this. So if I open up the console, um, looks like we have some undefined things. So I'm just going to say console.log values because we're just looping through and rendering this so we can see what the value of that is. So by default, we have no members. Here's me adding a member. That's another member. And that looks like where we have a problem. So we have two guys right here that are undefined. So I guess it's bad to specify the key as the first name and the last name like this because they can both be undefined if you keep clicking that. So to solve this problem, we can just make the key the index as well. And in that case, we probably don't even need to specify the first name and the last name there. We can just do the index. But now we shouldn't have any problems. We don't get any errors there. And we should not be getting extra fields. So now I start typing. And if I wanted to, I could just clear all the values add it, but you'll notice as we type here, we're getting the same values in the table. So that is how you would connect the material UI table and uh, the Redux form. And this would work pretty much for whatever type of thing you do with Redux form. In this case, we used field arrays over here. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that helped if you're struggling with material UI and uh, Redux form.